Hi everyone, this is Zach with Engadget, and this is our video review of the Nokia Lumia 810 4T Mobile. The phone is among the first of the Windows Phone 8 devices to hit the market, and it sells at T-Mobile for $150 on contract. One of the things that's immediately apparent about the Lumia 810 is that it really is a chunky device. It feels good in the hand, but this may be a sticking point for some. Along the right hand side you'll find the volume rocker as well as the power button and the camera button. Up top is 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and on the bottom you'll find a micro USB port as well as the microphone and the phone's loudspeaker. Overall the device is really attractive. It has a sophisticated feel to it and on the back you'll find an 8 megapixel camera that really delivers some fantastic results even on the auto settings. The display is a bit hit and miss however. To its credit it features Nokia's clear black technology which introduces a polarized filter that allows you to view the screen in direct sunlight. The touch screen is also really sensitive meaning that you can either operate it with gloves or fingernails if you're so inclined. Unfortunately, the display is WVGA, and while it's completely workable, it's a bit behind the curve. We noticed in the web browser that text looked overly rough and jagged, and while the camera compensated for it here, the white balance has a very cool blue-type cast to it that you'll notice in person. While we're quite pleased with the camera of the Lumia 810, there's not a ton of options beyond ISO, EV, and a couple scene settings to fine-tune your images. Also, as you can see, whenever you are tweaking this, uh, your image is completely covered up and you can't really see what you're doing, so you have to jump back and forth and that's a bit of a pain. We also weren't terribly impressed with the video camera of the Lumia 810, and it doesn't have any of the optical image stabilization technology that you'll find in the Lumia 920. Even though the hardware may be a bit lackluster, Nokia has added a number of apps to the Lumia 810, which really makes it a special phone. One of them we're looking at here is City Lens, which is an augmented reality location discovery app. And there's also Nokia Drive, which is a GPS navigation app that actually stores maps locally, rather than requiring a mobile network. There's also Nokia Transit, which can make taking public transportation more rewarding and less daunting. It's helpful and easy to use. All things told, the Lumia 810 is a well-rounded smartphone, and we like it a lot. But at $150, it compares really poorly to the Lumia 920, which is available at AT&T for $50 less. With that in mind, it really doesn't stack up well to the competition, and you'd have to be pretty dedicated to T-Mobile to choose the Lumia 810. Perhaps once it hits a lower price point, say in the neighborhood of $50, it could be a real winner. That's just going to require some patience on your part. This is Zach with Engadget, and thanks for watching.